Hello. The word for the day is heaven. Now, I've been thinking a lot about heaven recently. I don't know about you, but it's more than just the afterlife or a place where God resides, where Jesus sits at his right hand. But heaven is a home. It's to be our home as followers of Jesus Christ. And I've been wondering about how much do we know and desire to actually enter heaven. I mean, enter heaven, not escape hell. I know everybody wants to escape hell. And we have a myriad of ideologies on how to do so if you actually believe it's real. But I've been thinking about heaven being in heaven, the lack of sin and pain or suffering, all of what we experience in this human form will no longer be accessible to us. All that we desire in the very best of living in this world, apart from sin, is attainable. It's heaven. It's heaven on a new earth. It's worship and love and peace and joy, unfiltered, if you will. No opposition, no alternative. It's just bliss. It's just sunny skies. It's roads paved with 100% gold, not 10 carat or 14 carat, but real gold and onyx and rubies and pearls and diamonds and marbles sapphire, all of the opulence of what God has created in its purest forms without the taintedness of life after the fall, life in sin. How much do we think about and pay attention to what heaven's going to look like? I know we don't have it in our totality to comprehend and understand the magnitude, the depth, the width, the breadth of what heaven's really going to be. But there's enough being described for us from the Word of God to encourage us, to inspire us, to uplift us, to help us to see that this, this life and then death in the body is not all there is to eternal life. So we get to lift our heads even in the midst of the suffering that we're all promised to go through in this earth, to really focus on time with God, unfiltered, uninterrupted, time with our Father, time to sit at His feet, to be cradled in His arms, to worship, to laugh, to walk in the cool of the day as it was in the garden, in the presence of Almighty God. What a glorious time this will be. I hope you give it some more thought. Find some time to read and contemplate and reflect and allow for the peace that surpasses all understanding to enter your heart and mind as you reflect upon your eternal resting place in heaven with your Father. God bless you. We'll see you again soon.